Welcome to another episode of Times Square Kung Fu. I am your host, Frankie Barbour, aka the Shogun Supreme, man. Y'all know the deal, y'all know the vibes. What's the vibes today? I'm gonna be reviewing Wogo USA Young Ant Man, which comes out on Blu ray on the 16th of May, but is currently streaming on the streaming service Haya TV in North America, which is only $3.99 a month, and they have a seven day trial. I'd like to give massive props to the wonderful folks over at Wogo USA for providing me a review copy of Young It Man. Much props to y'all guys, man. Like I say, show me some love and I'll show you guys some love right back. Now, Young It Man is directed by Lee Lemming, who also previously directed It Man, the Kung Fu Master, starting Dennis Toe. If you guys are not familiar with Dennis Toe, he also, repro he also played the role of It Man back in 2010 and the legend is born it man so you know Lee Ming, i'm not too familiar with his work but he's definitely a young director and young and man stars sha wing hao and that's another actor i'm not too familiar with but looking at his um you know credits he done some tv work over the past few years now the plot for young and man is pretty much it's pretty straightforward it takes place in 1917 and young and man goes to hong kong to study while he's there, you know, chopping up, chopping it up with his homies, you know, talking to Shorty, um, the campus that he's in gets overtaken and all the students get taken as hostages. Now, the person who's running this crew basically is flowing like this. If his demands are not met, he's going to kill a student every minute. And his demand is that he wants like, like, uh, like a massive amount of um, gold bricks. So... That's his demands, but it man, the way he's portraying this film, and I'm telling you, he's on some James Bond flow in this film in this movie. He goes up to the guy who's running this crew and says, Um, you better let my classmates classmates go. And during the course of this interaction, he goes, I bet, but you gotta defeat all my homies in this certain amount of time. So what does it man do? I mean, he's it man. I mean, I won't be surprised if it man shows up in the MCU the way he's going around whooping ass in this film. He goes, I bet, I'm with it, I'm, I'm with the shit, <laughs> you know what I mean? He's ten toes down, man. And he goes fights everybody inside this campus. Now, you guys hear me say that, you think you're gonna see some intense, crazy, choreographed type of action. And that's where this film disappoints me big time. The, the way the fight is choreographed in this film has potential, but it's the editing. The editing is, is the style I'm, I, you know, a lot of us don't like. Or even action films, periods. There's a lot of chop, 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 chop. And it has the soulless nature to it. And when you have an action film, you expect like a, you know, like a top goon. I mean, this is it man right here. And you think he's going to encounter like somebody he, you know, oh, this is my match. Um, No, and that's another thing that disappointed me towards the end. You expected this grand finale, him going toe to toe getting beat up like he has like he can't go no more then he goes into super saiyan final instinct mode now nah, the finale was quite quite disappointing and so is the cg man you the fire cg the muzzle flash on the guns are cg they even in the beginning that's like uh when the guy who um overtakes the school when he breaks out of jail he's being chased down getting into a shootout and when he escapes, you see a CG hole on the floor. I was just laughing. I was like, whoa. So, you know, with me saying all of that, I found the film entertaining. I mean, it's not a good film, but it was entertaining because of the laughs. So when you see some of the bad CG work um, stand out and some of the, the action just looks very, very comical. So I highly recommend this as a rental and definitely watch with friends now if you go physical with this release you guys are not going to be disappointed because the sound is pristine and so is the picture quality i didn't see any issues at all even in the dark scenes where that usually you see issues with the pictures you know when you see the little blocks on the black scenes you don't see none of that no artifacts no micro blocking none of that and uh sound mix is great but usually um is reserved for the surround speakers you have a surround setup the multi-channel speakers usually is occupied by the music and the uh, voices sound crisp, clear, and there's a lot of channel transitions between the left, center, and right, back and forth, swinging constantly. 
and I found out to be okay, this one was good. They didn't go crazy with the rear channels, but you know, you could tell this film has a budget with the CG and just the way the film looks. The film is very clean. It's like, it's like, wow, like this is the cleanest city and facility I've ever seen in my life. And you could definitely tell it was, you know, shot on set and even some of the props, like they have books and all that. And you could definitely tell it's just a empty book, cardboard box, and it's just, you know, painted them over. So you, the props stand down and everything. And that's what I found charming and humorous about this. So I highly recommend you guys to definitely rent this or do this evident trial on Haya TV. And to see if you guys get a kick out of it, um, this film wasn't for me like that, but it was definitely, you know, I was entertained in a, you know, in a weird way, man. You know, this, you find something good about, you know, a film that is not like top caliber at times. And it is one of those films to me, you know what I mean? But again, you're not going to be disappointed if you go physical. Don't forget this physical release comes out on the 16th of May and also comes out digital that day, but it's currently streaming on Haya TV. And I'm about to wrap this video up. Thanks you guys for watching. Hope you found the video entertaining, informative, and once again, I'd like to thank the fantastic folks over at WorldGo USA for providing me this um, review copy for the sake of this video, man. Much props to you guys. Now, um, like I said, you know, I found the film charming and all that jazz, you know, but, you know, overall, I highly recommend this to be a rental, and if you do enjoy it, you're not going to be disappointed with the digital release on May 16th and the physical release of this film. Now, to elaborate more on, you know, the the fights, the way they go. I mean, yeah, he does get beat up and you see him, you know, go through some things, but not to the extent of the way we see other action films. It's just, you know, it was a little disappointing on that front. You know what I mean? But um, with that said, man, as always, guys, like, share, and subscribe. And until the next one, peace. Mm -hmm.